Module number five, how to protect an idea. By way of introduction, I want to give you fair warning about module five. First, with reference to each protection tool discussed in this module, we will do no more than help you understand the type of protection in a very brief way. It will be incumbent and necessary for you to seek greater knowledge about each tool and create the correct marketing strategy to correctly utilize each tool for protection. And as you can see from the next slide, I am only making an introduction in this course. By now, if you have followed the modules up to this point, you have a better idea as to how much time and money to invest in your idea. If you still believe your idea warrants moving forward, seek out the advice of two professionals for support and help, an accountant and an attorney. Module 5, Lesson 1, Non-Disclosure Agreement. Non-disclosure agreements, commonly referred to as NDAs, are used in the early stages of idea development to offer some medium of protection when the need arises to disclose some ideas of your idea to help illustrate or understand, for instance, how to build a prototype. It is a contract that creates a confidential relationship between the parties to protect any and all types of confidential and proprietary information or trade secret. Most of the time it is a mutual agreement that equally covers both sides, which is fair and okay. Later in marketing strategy I will tell you why NDAs are very important to me. Module 5, Lesson Number 2, Provisional Patent. Sometimes it may be advantageous to quickly protect your idea, for instance, to disclose it to a potential investor or distribution partner. For this reason and many others, a provisional patent may be just the right answer. Actually, you can do most or all the work all by yourself on this one, but remember, don't sit still because you only have one year's protection so get on with it. Module 5, How to Protect an Idea. Let's review two important patent categories. Okay, back in Module 2, we learned how to distinguish between a design patent and a utility patent. Now let's review each category to see which one is most appropriate for your idea and why. The design patent is a single claim much less expensive patent category, good for 15 years. It could be used as a good firewall while you continue to develop a utility patent, which might be the ultimate objective. Since no one can know the type of patent filed until issued, the design patent filing can offer protection as you gain initial rollout and marketing. The design patent can have a unique place in your marketing and production strategy. To enjoy the greatest patent advantage, the utility patent is the ultimate protection. Although the filing time is longer and the cost is easily five to ten times more than a design patent, if your idea is a home run, nothing compares to a utility patent.